me, Danny Matheson. I'm now joined in the studio by very, very talented Mary Kathleen Burke. Good evening, Mary. Good evening, Danny, and thanks very much for asking me onto your, your programme here at mm. Canglen. Not a problem. A uh, bit of a change for you sitting that side of a, a radio desk. Oh, well, I was just saying that to, to you and Ruth there. I'm, I'm feeling a bit nervous because <laughs> I'm, I'm usually at the other side of the desk. <laughs> uh, so you, you present a show every Sunday night in Celtic Music Radio. And I that's do. done for a few years now. Uh, seven, seven. Seven years, years in it? April it was yeah. passed. Yeah. <laughs> For my sons. <laughs> <laughs> um, that also coincides with the release of your last album then. That's yeah. exactly right. Yeah, I, the, the album came out in February mm-hmm. 2008 and uh, Stuart Fennick had me in for an interview because I had came from the country music scene. Uh-huh. So he was intrigued. So he got me in for an interview and then uh, a few days later I got a call to ask if I would Come like a present. slot. <laughs> so I says, well... I must have said something right, but it oh. uh, took, took me a long time to get used to the whole thing, but I think I still make fun. mistakes. Oh, we all do. It's we community do. radio, you know, yes. it's just we a bit do. of fun, we isn't we it? We all do. Well, there's some mistakes made in uh, the big stations as well. Mm-hmm. I think, though, they used to tune onto my show at the start, anyway, because uh, some of the things that I did, you know, <laughs> I, I sometimes forgot, even though I was... You know, on the radio. Well, yeah. <laughs> the beauty of live radio, you just don't know what's around the corner. I tell you. So, you are a singer songwriter, a very talented one at that as Thank well. You, Johnny. Um, now, you've come to a full circle. I know you used to do country music and then you went to more contemporary stuff, mm-hmm. and you're starting to go back a wee bit towards your country roots uh, now. I'm starting to kind of go back to my roots of, of where I started, I suppose. I grew up with show band music and country music mm-hmm. in Ireland. And it, it is kind of hard to erase that, you know, from, from your mind, really. And especially if you're like me and living here 34 years, when you go back home and you hear that music, it kind of, so you, you know, you've you lived see here them driving. in Scotland 34 years. <laughs> I have. Yeah, you've not dropped your accent at all. Yeah, I don't know if You've, li- you've lived in Scotland longer you lived in Ireland. Uh, twice as long, yeah. Twice as long. <laughs> twice People as long. People are trying to frantically work out your age here now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, I know, but I'm not saying. <laughs> um, so you kept your accent very strong. Uh, yeah, well, you still know where I'm from. I think it's probably a wee bit different from uh, what it is. But if I go home for a few weeks... I come back and you think I was just off <laughs> the boat again. So, <laughs> and you, you've been going back over the water for a bit recently doing your recording. I you know you've got a single out. Yes. Imminently. Imminently. Um, it actually, it's supposed to be officially released today, mm-hmm. but I have some issues with the artwork measurements and things. Right. So I've never uh, had to do my own release before, so it's been quite a, a challenge, the yeah. whole thing. And it's going out, of course, on my own record label mm-hmm. which I'm starting up as well so it's just been a really really busy uh, time for me with with doing that and if everybody's had to wait all this time so I don't think they'll mind waiting for another few days oh, I'm and sure it will won't. be it, it's it's going to be on iTunes Amazon and all the, the main download sites and there will be hard copies obviously when the album comes out and there's hard copies for the radio stations of the new single Right. Now, the new single, it's not one you've written yourself. No. You do write a lot of material, but this mm-hmm. one is a former one from Rita McNeil. It is, yeah. It's, uh, I've always liked Rita McNeil, but this, this song on the album was not my choice. This was Jerry. But I didn't realise till a few weeks ago that uh, Rita McNeil had actually died 16 months ago. Yeah. You know, and So I kind of went into checking out all our music and stuff and Jerry had obviously picked the song for me mm-hmm. so that's that's my producer who's uh, listening in <laughs> if he hasn't got a search party <laughs> out for me and um, so he he basically sent the song to me and I thought oh, I could do that I could try that one and uh, I think it's turned out really really nice okay. and so that's a question for you then and we'll queue it up for the track will you accept a rose I'll accept the rules. I'm so afraid of losing you. I don't know how I'm holding you. I can't believe you love me after all. 
So I'll accept the rose tonight The one you gave with so much love For taking all the fear inside And right before my very eyes You've turned it into love I know the way you look at me Never any doubt it seems You stop my heart from beating By the way you speak And in this world where love grows cold And broken dreams are made to hold I pray I may never know A day without So I'll accept the rose tonight The one you gave with so much love For taking all the fear inside single I don't accept the roads that was gorgeous did you like that Danny very much so <laughs> um, as indeed do a lot of our listeners a lot of our listeners that you'll know as well oh are, are saying hello tonight uh, Pauline Alexander oh hi, hi Pauline hi Pauline Aileen Terrell great singer as well Aileen Terrell through there in Edinburgh uh-huh Peter Glenn oh hi Peter <laughs> thanks for fixing my computer by the way <laughs> <laughs> and your fellow fellow Northern Islander Mr. Kieran Doris. Oh, Kieran! Is Kieran tuned in? Kieran's oh, tuned in, and he says, he says I have to give you a big Northern Ireland hug. Oh, well, I'm sending a big Northern Ireland hug right back to you, Kieran. Um, um, yes. <laughs> and you too can get in touch with the show, folks, if you so want. You can phone in 0141 647 0311. Text in 87007. Start your text with the word Cam Glen and type your message out. Or email studio at camglenradio.org. You can join in the chat with Mary here as we talk about a single and a new album. But uh, going mm-hmm. right back to your country roots there, definitely. Uh, absolutely. Well, you see, I sang um, country and uh, um, really in the, the UK country music scene for m- many years uh, under the, the stage name Tanya. And... Then I kind of left music for a wee while, mm-hmm. took some time out, as you do sometimes. Sometimes you've got to just take a step back you and do, reassess yeah. life. And yeah, yeah. And um, I decided then maybe I should try the more traditional scene, you know, and the, the folk music and whatever, because I do that as well. Mm-hmm. And so 
uh, I was very lucky and I got signed to Green Tracks who released my, my debut album, A Song in Our Heart. Yep. And uh, that was uh, that got tremendous uh, critical acclaim all over the world. And mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I think there's still quite a lot of people in Ireland haven't even heard that album. <laughs> so I'm hoping maybe this might yeah. lead them to it as well, you know. And people ask me all the time now, you know, what kind of music do you want to do? And, you know, even Ian Green, Dr. Ian Green asked me at the time that he signed me and I said, well, Good you music. know, I, I just like doing good music, you yeah. know, and I love country and I love folk and I, I believe the two are very much intertwined oh, they definitely with are. each other, you know, and uh, so I'm now calling myself a crossover artist. Apparently that's <laughs> that's what I am. So I'm, I thought you were going to say a cross <laughs> I know, <laughs> but I mean, to me, you know, it's like a friend of mine's in America as well, singer, songwriter, says to me, you know, a, a woman phoned up and said, you know, can you play country? Can you play folk? Do you play rock? Do you play? And he says, I play all of them. How about that? You know. And yeah. to me, that's that's my answer. You know, uh, music is music, and you've got to, as an artist, I think you've got to try different things yeah. as well. I know so. people ask many, many times, what is folk music? Yeah. And my answer to that is, well, it's just country have music. You, have, you, <laughs> have you ever heard a horse sing or a dog sing? <laughs> all music. It's folk music. It's, mm-hmm. only, it's only people that sing. People are folk. Yeah. All, all music true, is folk true, music. True, true, <laughs> Never really um, thought of that. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> so, as well as a single, you've got not one, but two albums. Yes, I have. Very, very now, and, and this is where, where, where people are going to be really confused, and I've had emails and things asking, you know, what, which album is this that's actually coming out? So... Uh, well, something somebody else said to me this week, an advisor that I have in, in a creative uh, sense... Uh, and she said, you know, sometimes you've just got to go whatever way the wind blows. Yes. And that's what I've had to do on this occasion. I was in the middle of one project when Jerry O'Brien contacted me. Mm-hmm. And I realised, you know, after two or three conversations with Jerry that this guy wants me to come in and record an album. And I said, but I'm in the middle of doing an album. And he said, well... You know, I can do f- an album for you, bring you over here to w- County Wicklow and, and whatever. So I yeah. thought, OK, just let me just go and book a flight uh-huh. and I'll be over. And as it's, the rest is it says history. Now, the other album is on hold because, mm-hmm. uh, coming back to that expression as well, I think I've been doing too much, you know. And, you know, nobody can... You know, act as the record company and as as everything. Oh, no. You know, and if if you're a musician and you're trying to learn songs and you're trying to practice songs and whatever, you've got to put a certain amount into that. So I've had to kind of rethink everything. Mm-hmm. As you know, I do the radio program uh, every Sunday as well. So that takes a wee bit of preparation. And you promote bands uh, as that, and I promote bands, and uh, you know, and I have got a family as well yes. that I love very much in Ireland, and I've got my kids here so there's just quite a lot of things going on you know Mm -hmm. so I've had this advisor has said to me you know you need to calm down Mary let's get this album out first and your wee piece of art which is what I suppose the other album is Mm -hmm. that's my baby that's like my own uh, compositions and my own writing and part of of life as well so uh, so that album will still be coming out but I'm going the way the wind's blowing and it's at the moment blowing over to Ireland and that's where I want to do we to have go, to a, go back and a, a do the music. Yet for the, the, the title thing. of the album is a song called "Sweet as a Melody," which uh, I haven't brought that one to you. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have a few other tracks. I have some kind of more up tempo stuff about one, as well. Is on it? it all around the world? No, I've got one called "Stop the World." Stop the world. Which generally um, has been recorded by men. I, I haven't heard an other woman. Uh, mm-hmm. recording it before and Joe Davitt and his country band well Joe Davitt has played the brass uh, parts on on this as well yeah. so I'm, I'm really quite chuffed with it and uh, it'll show a completely different side of what I do I mean mm-hmm. some people think I just sit there and sing really slow folk songs but I'm capable of, far more than of that. other things as well and that's what this album I think will show so mm-hmm. Stop um, the world and this I yep. believe is a world exclusive as well it is a world exclusive. You're the first, Danny. <laughs> Cam Glen Radio is the first. So. Excellent. So we are now <laughs> going to stop the world with Mary Catherine Burke.
are shattered, can't you see? Now you no longer care for me. I miss the wonder of your kiss. How could you leave me here like this? Stop the world and let me up. Are shattered, don't you see? No, you no longer care for me. I miss the wonder of your kiss. Did you leave me here like this? Stop the world and let me off. Catherine Burke stopping the world there. That was excellent. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> that was something totally different with the brass side and, yeah, uh, yep. and uh, quite up tempo as well. Yeah, and uh, as I said, no female that I know of has, has recorded it. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of stuck that one on there as a wee kind of cheeky song, if oh, you like. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Um, and uh, I have, uh, as you know, uh, I have a lot of different influences, singers that are. I'm influenced by and uh, one of them is Iris Dement mm -hmm. and I mean she's the kind of singer you either love her or you hate her you know and I, and I think I'm the same <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, and hopefully uh, the people that do like my voice will appreciate this one as well and uh, the reason I put this on the album as well although I didn't write it it just reminds me so much of my own mother and her her ways now. I don't know if uh, my mum's listening in, but I know my sister Linda's listening in uh, Plum Bridge in County Tyrone. Oh Hi, right. Linda. Plus Hi, my, Linda. And my poor other sister Christine, she's in hospital. Oh, that's not so good. So uh, I don't know if she'll get tuned in, but I'll say I hope she gets better very uh -huh. soon. But uh, I, f I know when we sit down as a family and they're all listening to the album, they are going to really relate to this song, and maybe other people well as well and their mummies might be a bit like this as well so I just changed one word on the song because Iris was singing it about her mother and uh, so I changed it to Mary one of the words in it yeah. um, and you know my mum uh, went to a chapel but Iris's mum went to one of these like gospel churches or whatever so mm -hmm. uh, but they were very similar I think the upbringings were similar so what so, track is that, sorry? Uh, sorry, that's track three, and it's called Mama. So this is for you, Mummy, if you're listening. <laughs> uh, just see if I can cue that up. Okay. And Mama. Mama. My mama is always telling her truth Times are hard and that's how she made it through When it came to her feelings There wasn't no back burner on that stove And when something went wrong She might start yelling or crying If you didn't know better you'd think one of us was dying But that was mama and she just told I was sitting in the church house right there beside her. Mama would move and the spirit would guide her, waving her hands up to heaven, singing. 
Soon to be released album, Sweet Melody. Sweet as a melody. Sweet as a melody. Well, that was very, very sweet. And some cracking comments have been coming in on Facebook this evening. Uh, Pauline likened your voice to that of Patsy Klein. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, sorry. It, it helps if I put your mic up. My apologies. Okay. <laughs> um, everyone else is saying uh, the love country music. We've well and truly nailed it. So. Thank you. Great comments coming in. Uh, so thank you very much for coming in tonight. Uh, thank for you for this segment. Let me have the first me. play of your, your album as well, which is excellent. Yeah. And of course, your single. Wish every success with the single. Thank you very much, Danny. Rose. And then, of course, the albums when they come out as well. We'll look forward to them. Okay. And when it is released, we'll get you back in the studio again of another chat. Absolutely. Once it's all yes. the covers on it and the whole. Uh-huh. The whole we'll, we'll, maybe are done. You, we'll maybe get you singing live then. Aye, I could do that as well. Could do that we'll as well. Could I just say, uh, if anybody wants to check out the 
about the album or anything, if you go to www.mkburk.co.uk and can also say hi to Seamus, my manager, who's listening in as well, and to all the people out there who are supporting me. Thank you. And thank you to you and uh, Ruth as well for having me in here. Not a problem. Thanks for coming tonight and You're sharing welcome. your music.